If you are using high end paraben products, stop using them immediately. First is oily skin, second dry skin, combinational skin, normal skin and sensitive skin. Pranam everyone, my name is Poli Parihar and I welcome you all to Sai Yoga. In this video, I will let you know that how you could keep your skin naturally healthy, smooth and shiny with the help of yoga. First, let's discuss, according to the Ayurveda, we have three doshas in the body. What is the connection with the skin? I will let you know. So we have Vata, Pitta and Kapha. In the Vata and Pitta, we have an excessive heat inside the body which could leave the dry skin. When it's come to the Kapha, in the Kapha dosh, we are having an oily type of skin. Now let's come to the in general five skin types. So first is oily skin, second dry skin, combinational skin, normal skin and sensitive skin. Now let me introduce in single line oily skin when you are having an excessive oil throughout your face or with other part of the body. Dry skin, dry skin when you are having a flaky skin or dry skin around your cheeks, lip or any part of your body. Combinational skin, when you're having a combination of dry skin and the oily skin, it could be at any part of your body, but especially T-zonal area would be oily and the dry cheeks, any part could be oily and dry. When it comes to the sensitive skin, sensitive skin means that whenever you apply any product over your skin, you start feeling irritation and sensations over your skin. Last is a normal skin. Normal skin when you're having a glossy and smooth skin. So these are the skin types. Now let's discuss that what you should take and what you should avoid. That means do and don'ts. First let's discuss about don'ts. So avoid having excessive oily food. Stop exposing your skin under sun. Last, smoking and drinking. It could damage your cells. Now let's come to the what you should include into your diet. First, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, zinc, biotin and most probably you have to add the vitamin D also into your diet. I forget to add omega-3 fatty acid. So add omega-3 fatty acid into your diet. Now let's come to the hydration of the skin. So this is the most important part that your skin should be completely hydrated and your skin should having a proper amount of oxygen and the blood. So how you could keep your skin naturally hydrated? Water is the excellent way to keep your skin naturally hydrated. So take two to two and a half liter water in a day, which could hydrate your skin completely. If you didn't subscribe our channel, don't forget to subscribe us. Now let's jump to the practice part. First, I will let you know the some Marma's point which could help you or lead the shiny and toning skin. So I'm going to introduce with the five Marma point. So first, use your first two fingers. This is where we having tear ducts, press them. 10 to 15 times just like this. Second marma point, at the center side of the eyes, just below or under your eyes. Press this 10 to 15 times over here, then rotate circular. Just when your eyebrows ends up, press this. This point should be pressed 10 to 20 times. It should be a gentle pressure. Now let's come to the central part of the eyebrows at here. Start pressing your eyebrows 10 to 15 times over here. Last and final murmur, use your right hand and this is should be pressed in circular motion. So start rotating your finger 20 times clockwise and 20 times anti-clockwise. This will help you to de-stress your tissues and de-stress your entire facial muscles. Now, let's jump to the pranayama. So throughout the pranayama, you could send the oxygenated blood to your skin cells which lead the smooth, shiny and glowing skin. Anulom Vilom Pranayama. Make a pranam mudra throughout your hands. In this way, block your right nostril with the right hand and support your elbow throughout your chest. Inhale with the left nostril. Exhale with opposite. Inhale with opposite. Exhale with left. 
try to do this with the close eyes and practice this 20 to 25 times for the hydrated oxygenated skin. Now I'm going to introduce with the three most effective asanas for healthy and glowing skin. First posture, sit in Vajrasana. So your heel should be outside and fix your hip between your feet. Now. Open your knees. We are going to do the Shashankasana. Use the pillow between your thighs. Bring your arms up. Now gently rest your face over the pillow. Lose your body and rest in the same posture for 5 minutes without distracting yourself. This will help you to send the blood supply to your head, to your face and upper portion of the body. Come back. Let's come to the second posture. Come to the belly line position. This is the second posture. Bend your knee one by one. Grab your ankle. So second posture is a Dhanurasana. Inhale, lift your body up. This will help you in the toning of the skin. And this is anti-aging. This is how you could increase the blood circulation in your body. Which would lead the tight and healthy skin. Down. Let me introduce with the last and final posture. Come to the back line position. Fold your both leg knees and your heel should be. Your heel should be a little close to your hips. Hand should be resting by the side of your thighs. We are going to do the Setu Bandhasana or bridge pose. Inhale, lift your belly up. And try to touch your chin with your chest if possible for you. This sends the good oxygen or oxygenated blood to your upper body, to your chest, neck, face and dentally down. Now, open your legs. Last and final posture is a Shavasana to de-stress your skin, to de-stress your body. If I forget anything to add in this video, comment down. I would love to make a videos on those topics. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe us. And next you could watch this video. Till then, have a sigh of relief.